guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a trailer review for Big Hero 6. Now, I'm a big Disney fan, uh, of course a big superhero fan, so I really wanted to do a trailer review for this uh, movie. So I decided to do a trailer review, because why not? So with this movie, we get the voice actors that were just announced yesterday. Uh, we kind of know what the, the movie's already about, um, you know, very different from Frozen, where we just found out, like, probably September what the movie was kinda about. So Big Hero 6, they're advertising it a little bit of a different way. So we do know some bit, uh, bits about it, especially since there is a comic book on it. There is source material. Frozen, technically, yeah, there's source material too, but not source materi material they're gonna steal for for the movie. There was no Elsa or Anna. So we get to see with this trailer, a lot more with Hero. And again, we already have the voice actors, so we're trickling in some more news for the movie. And probably we're going to get more um, movie news and uh, Big Hero news with D23, and that's around August time. I'm sure we're going to get a lot more Big Hero 6. That's where we first heard Let It Go also. So I'm sure we're going to get more Big Hero 6 and a lot of the other upcoming movies. That's where you get a lot of the Disney announcements. But with this trailer, we get to see our main character, Hero, who is voiced by Ryan Potter. Um, and I actually did watch Super Ninjas when, it's on, when it was on. It's actually not a bad show. I like Super Ninjas. Don't judge me. Uh, and he was. I liked, I liked his character on the show. I think Ryan Potter is a pretty cool child actor. So, um, yeah, I think he's perfect for Hero. I don't actually hear it that much in his voice acting. So he's a good voice actor also, I guess. Uh, so with this, we get to see a lot of Hero and his pet. Uh, we get to see some comedy more highlighted in this trailer. Uh, some of the other cast, we didn't even get to see any of the other cast in animation because we only got one teaser trailer with Hero and his, um, his uh, pet machine. So I'm getting to see glimpses and some of the voices of our supporting cast also. So we get to see a, a lot more here. Again, the comedy. Uh, you know, a little bit of Hero's situation, what his family life is. We saw a little bit of his mother in this trailer. So we get to see a little bit more about Hero, which is really great, our main character, and a little bit more of the environment of, of this movie. It seems like they are sticking to the comics, but it's not really an anim anime feel. That's actually why I didn't get the comics in the first place. Uh, because I remember when I was in the comic book store, I would see Big Hero 6, and I'm a big Team Hero fan, and these are all Team Heroes. So I was always speculating, or, you know, skeptical of getting these Big Hero 6 comics. And the reason I would never get it is because I'm not a big anime manga fan, and it looked very manga. And for this movie, they... It doesn't really look like that. It's not really an anime, manga, Japanese influence feel, even though the setting is, because it's San Francisco with some Japanese um, elements, uh, but the characters don't really seem that way. So uh, it's interesting how they are really diverting from from the source material a little. And I would love to read the source material before the movie comes out. I probably will do some sort of review uh, to show what's different with the source material and this movie. Uh, so yeah, the first trailer, you're not getting too much, you're not getting really a story, but at least you're getting uh, some of the elements of the movie, learning a little bit more about Big Hero 6. Again, that's very different from Frozen, because they marketed it in a different way. I don't think there was a trailer coming out in July, there really wasn't. We didn't know much about it besides Olaf was in it, we didn't even know who Olaf was, that was the first trailer. So this is... Frozen's predecessor, in a way, even though it's not a princess movie, is a November movie for Disney. And last year, Frozen came out in November. So I think this is going to really have to hit it out of the ballpark, um, especially because it's Disney superhero movie, uh, you know, walking in the footsteps of The Incredibles. So I really think this is going to have to do well, and I hope it does do well. So I am really looking forward to it. I like the voice acting. Um, I like this trailer overall. I think it shows some great elements, and looking forward to seeing more news for Big Hero 6. So please tell me in the comments below what you thought about the trailer, what you're looking forward to, what you're not looking forward to, have you read the source material, what you think is going to be different. Please tell me in the comments below. This is Comic Uno. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Ryan Situations, and don't forget to like my Facebook page, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.